All right, we are moving on to 11-4. You can find this on page 583 in your textbook. If you will go ahead and turn to that page so you are with me, you'll have a little bit easier of a time following along with our lesson. Now, before we move on, I want you to get your fraction strips out. If you don't have them anymore, that is okay. Just listen and follow along with me so you can answer the question at the bottom of this page. So we're going to start with this top part right here in the green box. It says the length of each strip of paper is one whole unit, just like we have here. Fold a strip of paper in half twice. Fold a half or fold a strip of paper in half three times. What are the fractions that you are able to identify with the strips that you folded? Okay, so now if we look down, it says if you could fold a strip in half four times, what fractions could be used to name the folded lines? Here's your answer, I want you to explain why, okay? Now, as we are reviewing, I want you to remember that with our fractions, we have a numerator and a denominator. The denominator is determining how many equal parts our number lines are divided into, not how many lines you are drawing, how many equal parts you have. The numerator is determining how many places you are going to jump. Or in this case, with this lesson, um, where you are going to identify the fraction on the number line. Keep those skills that you mastered last week to be able to master this week's skills. It's not that hard, um, but it is building on top of each other. Let's watch the lesson together. Let's go through the questions that the video asks us, and then I will assign today's task. How can you name points on a number line? A number line is made up of a bunch of smaller numbers, and each of those points has a name. Think about this question during the lesson. The arrows show that number lines go on forever, you know. You can mark and label points on a number line. Each fraction names a point on a number line. One half is halfway between zero and one. What is one name for the missing fraction on the number line? Okay, so we are going to have to apply those skills that we learned last week to be able to answer this question. I first need to see how many equal parts this number line's divided into. I have one, two, three, four. So I know with that information that my denominator is going to be four. Now I need to count and stop at the place that they are asking me to identify the missing fraction at. So I start at zero. I go one, two, three. So the name for the missing fraction on this number line is three fourths. One name for the missing fraction is three fourths. This number line has four equal parts. Each part is one fourth of the whole. A bunny hopped two fourths the distance of a trail. The point shows where two-fourths is located and the distance the bunny hopped. Both number lines show where two-fourths is located. The size of the hole in each number line is different. You can use mixed numbers to name points on a number line. Mixed numbers are numbers that have a whole number part and a fraction part. Each mixed number names a point on the number line. What is the name for the missing mixed number on the number line? Okay, so the only thing that this mixed number is really identifying is the new place that you are on the number line. 
because as you can see, our number line is now going past one. So you have to look at the area that is in between the two numbers. We are identifying a mixed number that is in between one and two. So it is going to have one, or one is going to be in front of that fraction. So I can go ahead and write one first. I need to look and see how many equal parts this number line is divided into between one and two to determine my denominator. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I know that my denominator is still four. And now I need to count where the fraction stops. I start at one this time and I go one, two, three. So the missing mixed number on this number line is one and three fourths. One name for the missing mixed number on the number line is one and three fourths. Look closely at the number line. How many halves are equal to two fourths? Okay. Two-fourths, this is confusing because you may have seen it written a different way, but two-fourths is equal to one-half. One-half is equal to two-fourths. What is another name for one and two-fourths? Okay, if one-half is equal to two-fourths, then what do you think a name for one and two-fourths would be? It would be one and one half. Another name for one and two fourths is one and one half. Now you know how to name points on a number line. All right, guys. So I hope that you're not overthinking it because this is not that hard. We are just simply adding a whole number in front of the fraction now which is dependent upon where we are in the number line. So I want you to go, let me erase what I have on here. Okay, so you should now be on page 584. And it, you'll see this very, the same question that I have right here on the screen. It says one point on the number line has been named with the fraction two six. Write a fraction for the other points shown. Well, you know that your first step is to see how many equal spaces this number line was divided into. So we have one, whoops, I'm not gonna do it that way because that's how we count. Uh, and let me get a different color. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So you know that the denominator for all of these fractions is six. Now I will do the first point with you and then you can finish the rest uh, by yourself. So I am going to go from zero to this first point and that is one jump. So I know that that fraction on that number line is one sixth. Go ahead and finish the last three, snap a picture of it and upload it into your portfolio on Class Dojo. I know you guys will get this too easy. If you have any questions, that is A-OK. -okay. Um, send me a Dojo message and we can hop on a call together. All right, guys, talk to you later, bye.